was uh, very big. You know, those are two playoff teams uh, that you know we we battle with. It seems like every season, and uh, obviously down the stretch here against those types of teams, it's a uh, real confidence boost to get wins in those types of situations. Talk a little bit, last year at the end of the season you guys were rolling, but now you're in a position where you kind of control your own destiny. What's the difference in the locker room? Uh, you know, you'd like to say nothing um, because we want to come out and, and, and scratch and claw for, for every game um, because every point's important, but uh, it is a little bit different because we do we do have a little a uh, little more breathing room than we have we had last season, but uh, at the same time we know that you know it can get away from you if you come out and, and you don't uh, compete every night. Um, this has been a tough weekend for us. There's a lot of travel and, and three games in two and a half days, but I thought the guys stepped up and um, I think our youth served us well. They uh, they seem to be going tonight and that carried us. Uh, you talked about the, the desperation that hasn't been on our penalty kill at the end of that game and, and even against Grand Rapids on Friday night. I thought you guys were extremely desperate, uh, really you know, diving out. and uh, Just talk about the, the mentality on the bench and, uh, and whether that was a message. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a fine line because you want to you want to be willing to pay the price, but you don't want to be uh, overzealous to the point where you know you're running out of position and, and you're giving up plays underneath. Um, so it's kind of a fine line. You got to be composed, but you also got to be desperate in terms of you know you get caught out of position or they make a good play. You know, a guy lays down, blocks a shot. Mark McNeil's been doing a tremendous job of it these last few games. You know, we're doing our post game, you know, cool down, and he's covered in ice bags, and um, you know that's why he's. Put out there in those situations because he's he's a he's a warrior and he's he's willing to do what it takes. The turnover numbers, I, I mean, just from the perspective of Chicago giving you guys a lot of odd man rushes, but I thought you guys also turned the puck over a little bit in the defensive zone. Was there anything that was done later in the game because it didn't happen late in the game? Is there anything that you guys adjusted to later? Yeah, I think we we tightened up a little bit. Um, uh, not trying to get too cute. I think early on in the game, you know, we were throwing some blind pucks. We we're you know they were pressuring, uh, and then that makes you, it forces you to make a quick decision. But um, we talked about it in between the second and the third that if, if you were getting forced and you had to throw a puck, and make sure it was off the glass. It was a hard play. Then it got out in the neutral zone, and then we'd reset and get into our neutral zone forecheck instead of trying to make cute backhand blind passes in the middle. So we cleaned it up, and, and I think it helped us eliminate some scoring chances against. What was the biggest difference in last night's game today? Well, last night's game, you know, we we beat Grand Rapids on Friday, and. Uh, and then they're traveling last night to play uh, this afternoon in Milwaukee. So, you know, they're they're looking at going 0 and 3 if they don't win that game last night. They came out desperate. Um, I think they wanted it a little bit more than we did. Uh, they're at home. It's a tough building to play in, and they and they uh, they're good in their own building and they executed. Um, I thought that our compete level was was good, but our execution was poor. Um, you know, it happens sometimes. You have those games, but. Uh, I thought we answered well tonight in coming out and getting the win. Did you have any advice for Hawkman?